What's going on everybody? I am back with another prize picks MLB player props video. This one gonna be breaking it down, giving you guys five picks, get you winning some money over here on prize picks as Always excited to talk about it. We got some really nice K props that I am excited to target today. So we will get into it. But if you enjoy the content, would be greatly appreciated if you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. And if you're already very serious, I would highly recommend, guys, you check out my premium content packages. That's linked below in the description. Patreon.com slash KJK underscore DFS. I do offer prize picks MLB packages to go along with underdog MLB packages. You can also check out the MLB All-Star Package. that will give you access to every single one of my MLB packages. And lastly, the VIP Package is the one that I would highly recommend. That's going to give you access to every single package that I have to offer for all sports, um, all picks, all apps. And I'm going to continue to keep adding more and more value to that every single day. So that one's kind of a no-brainer for me. But if you only play on one site, if you're in a state or something where it only allows one site, I understand that's why I offer these cheaper alternatives. So you can still get my core plays for that one site and that one sport. So... If you're interested, check that out. I would highly recommend it. And if you haven't signed up for prize picks, sign up today. Use that promo code KJKDFS to receive an instant match on your first deposit up to $100 today. Lock in these picks and start winning some money. I think we're going to have a good night tonight, so let's talk about it. We will kick things off. We'll go game by game as we always do. And the first game I'm going to talk about is going to be the San Diego Padres taking on the Miami Marlins tonight in Miami, one of the best pitching environments in baseball. I want to talk about Mr. Joe Musgrove. Because it gets a nice matchup here against a Miami Marlins squad that doesn't exactly have the uh, best of lineups right now. They've been dealing with some injuries. It's a little bit watered down. There's a lot of strikeouts to be had on it. Musgrove, a 24.5% here overall and an 11.4% swing strike rate. Features a 24.1% carry against righties and a 24.7% carry against lefties. So he's really solid across the board. Just consistent strikeout stuff to both sides of the plate. And he gets to take on a Miami Marlins squad tonight that, like I said... Doesn't have the best lineup and definitely has some strikeouts in it. So I want to be targeting it for that reason. Starting from the bottom up with Burdick as far as his K rate is concerned. 33% K rate for him and then 23, 24, 11, 26, 24, 21, 19, and 10. So there's pretty much two low strikeout guys in this lineup. It's Joey Wendell at the top and it is Miguel Rojas in the sixth spot. Other than that, you're looking at about a 20 plus percent K rate against every single hitter. And uh, Musgrove's pitch count's way up. And I do like where his K prop line is set today. So it's only five and a half. You look at his recent performances, he had a couple of tough ones uh, the last couple times out where he gave up six and two in runs. Still had eight and six strikeouts respectively in those two matchups. Only four last time against San Francisco, but uh, I do think we see him get back on his case stuff in this matchup tonight. So pick number one, I'm going to be rocking with the over five and a half strikeouts here for Joe Musgrove. Pick number one, kind of explained it. Good strikeout stuff, good opponent to be targeting. Uh, especially once you get down to the bottom of this Miami lineup and kind of throughout the heart of it. There's just a lot of strikeouts to be had. So that's going to be pick number one, like the over five and a half strikeouts for Joe Musgrove. Pick number two, we are going to be headed down to the New York Yankees, taking on the Tampa Bay Rays. We're going to talk about Garrett Cole, another guy with elite strikeout stuff and a phenomenal strikeout match tonight against this Tampa Bay Rays lineup that's striking out at a really high rate. Um, as far as Mr. Garrett Cole is concerned, he's got a 32.5% K rate overall with a 14% swing strike rate, 29.2% K rate against those righties, and a 36.2% K rate against lefties. So his K rate actually does tick up in a nice way against left-handed hitting. If you look at this projected raise lineup as far as how many lefties they're expected to have. Let's see, one, two, three, four lefties. Kind of a nice blend, but as we explained, he's good against both sides. We will take those high strikeout lefties, but then also this entire lineup is just featuring some really, really high K rates, uh, especially once you get down to the bottom of this raise lineup. Starting from the bottom of the series, 31% K rate for him, and then 27, 22, 34, 35, 22, 25, 13 for Diaz, and then 27 at the top for G-Man Choi. So uh, Yandi Diaz is the only guy in this entire lineup that has a low strikeout rate. Eric Cole, elite strikeout stuff against both sides of the plate, and then you factor in the leash that this guy has. Uh, the Yankees will let him go a lot of pitches. You can see 109, 103, 100, 112, 103. He's consistently topping 100 plus pitches. He is a workhorse. You look at the strikeouts the last three times out, 9, 8, 8, 6, 12, 11 the time before. So that's just what he does. There is a high K prop for him today, but the juice is still on the over. Honestly, I'm seeing some sports books bump him up to even 9.5 uh, based upon where this line's at. So pick number three, I would gladly... Take the over on strikeouts at eight and a half over here on prize picks. Got to rock with the strikeouts as far as I'm concerned. Um, I think there's minimal risk with the strikeout in comparison to the pitcher fantasy score. His pitcher fantasy score is way up there. I think even if he gets a few earned runs, 
he still gets his strikeouts along the way with the amount of pitches that he goes. I think he gets nine plus strikeouts uh, pretty easily here. I expect your cold to just absolutely shove against this lineup that the Rays are rolling out right now. So pick number three. I like the over eight and a half strikeouts for Garrett Cole. Pick number three. Pick number four, we're going to be targeting another high strikeout lineup. Or actually, no, I'm sorry. That's only pick number two. So Musgrove, Cole's pick number two. Pick number three, if we're going to be talking about the Chicago Cubs taking on the Washington Nationals. And we're going to talk about Josiah Gray because, once again, he gets a phenomenal strikeout matchup. And you're looking at Josiah Gray's stuff. He features a 26.3% carry overall, a 12.5% swinging swing strike rate. Once again, he does have some hard contact issues. He does have a little bit of walk issues against left-handed hitting, so don't want to be targeting his fantasy score. However, I love the strikeouts, and specifically against right-handed hitting. He features a 27.1% carry rate overall against those righties, a 25.5% carry rate against lefties, so really good against both sides of the plate, but he does get a nice tick up against those right-handed bats, and the Cubs are expected to roll out a very heavy K, right-handed, heavy lineup, so that's fantastic. Wilson Contreras, righty, Suzuki, righty, Fran Reyes, righty, Nico Horner, Patrick Wisdom, and Christopher Morell. A couple of lefties mixed in there, but for the most part, they are very right-handed heavy. And then when you're reading off these strikeout rates, once again, a very heavy strikeout lineup. Starting from the bottom up with Morrell, 30%. McKinstry, 32, 33, 10 for uh, Nico Horner, who's a low strikeout guy, but then you get past him, 37, 30, 21, 21, and 20. There are a lot of strikeouts, and especially the right-handed bats. Like I said, he has a really good strikeout rate against those righties. I mean, I mean these rates, Suzuki's a right-handed bat 30% of the time. Uh, Framel Reyes, 37% of the time as a right-handed bat. Patrick Wisdom, 33% of the time as a, a right-handed bat. Christopher Morrell, 30.2% of the time as a right-handed bat. So I think uh, Josiah Gray just absolutely shoves here from a strikeout uh, prop aspect. Love the pick for pick number three. Rocking with the over six strikeouts here for Josiah Gray. That's going to be pick number three. Pick number four, we're going to be kicking it on down to another high strikeout lineup in the Atlanta Braves. And we're talking about Carlos Carrasco, who's a guy that has some really good swing strike rate stuff on the season. I'm not sure if people really understand how good he is. I just targeted the same exact prop last time out. And honestly, the juice isn't even too heavy on the over five and a half this time around. I don't really understand why this matchup just occurred. Um, Carrasco was able to get there pretty easily. And I'm expecting more of the same. The guy features a 13.5% swing strike rate. That's up there with the elite in the league this year. I mean, he's just trailing Garrett Cole, Spencer Trider, Otani. He's above Freddie Peralta, above Josiah Gray, above Luis Castillo, above Sandy Alcantara, some elite names. The guy has a phenomenal swing strike rate. 23.7% carry overall with a 24.1% carry against righties and a 23.3% carry against lefties. And he gets to take on one of the heaviest K lineups in the league in the Atlanta Braves. While they have a lot of power, a lot of talent, they have a lot of strikeouts. And you look at Carlos Carrasco um, and how he's going to square up here. I really like the matchup. Starting from the bottom up with Harris, 22% carry for him, and then 41, 30, 27, 29, 25, 24, 28, and 24. So once again, so many strikeouts. The leash is long enough for Carrasco. I expect him to blow away this line. Once again, the juice isn't too heavy on the over. I know last time that kind of happened the same way, though, and then towards the end of the day, the juice just kept climbing and climbing. He was able to rack up six strikeouts in that matchup. Last time against Cincinnati, he racked up nine strikeouts. I mean, the swing strike rates and the results are matching up, and I expect him to do so again today. So I love this pick. For pick number four, we're going to be rocking with the over five and a half strikeouts for Carlos Carrasco. They had the line bump at six. It came down to five and a half. I don't know why, but I'm not complaining. We will gladly take that. Um, so that's going to be pick number four. I like the over five and a half strikeouts for Cor Carlos Carrasco. And then pick number five to round things out. We're going to be going with the late game in the LA Angels, taking on the Seattle Mariners. And we're going to talk about the away pitcher in Luis Castillo. Because once again, he gets one of the best K matchups you could ask for. Taking on this Los Angeles Angels squad with a lot of holes in their bats. You look at Luis Castillo's K rates. Really, really good. He features a 26.1% carry rate overall with an 11.9% swing strike rate, 28.4% carry against righties, and a 23.2% carry against lefties. So the K rate does dip down a little bit to lefties, I will say, uh, as far as how that's going to hurt him in this matchup. There are a couple of lefties th mixed throughout, but there's also quite a few righties. I mean, it's kind of a nice blend. You can see one, two, three righties, four righties, and then the lefties, one, two, three, four, five lefties expected to be. But then you look at the strikeout rates. That's where things get really enticing because the Angels strike out a ton. Started from the bottom up with Sierra, 16% for him, but then you get past him, 31, 28, 42, 30, 24, 17. At seven at the top with uh, David Fletcher, but um, just a ton of strikeouts to be had. Luis Castillo has some really good strikeout stuff, and then you look at his recent form. He has been hitting the over on this line pretty much every single time out for the most part. Um one, two, three, four straight games with eight strikeouts. Only seven last time out, so that would have pushed. But you look at the pitch count, phenomenal. Once again, another workhorse. 108, 114, 92, 109, 110. They have his line set at seven flat. 
I'll gladly be rocking with the over seven strikeouts for Luis Castillo. Just way too high strikeout rates in this LA Angels lineup. He's got a really long leash. I like the value. There's massive deuce on the over six and a half, as there should be. Um, I think seven's a lock, and I do think it's really likely uh, he gets eight, nine, ten strikeouts in this matchup. So pick number five, rocking with the over seven strikeouts for Luis Castillo. And that is my five picks. Did you win some money over here on prize picks in the MLB today, guys? Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. If you haven't checked out the premium content package, check those out for more picks, more insight. I'm teaching a lot of people how to mix and match, mitigate risk, all sorts of different skills over there. Um, and like I said, the VIP members, especially you guys are top priority of mine. I'm really loving this VIP member package. We got a great group. Uh, you know, I do a lot of hard work to give you guys top picks, but I got to say there's some pretty smart minds in there as well outside of myself. So it does help. Um, and typically people that are willing to pay a little bit of money, take it a little bit more seriously. And it kind of creates a nice, um, community of like-minded people that work really hard. So I'm, I'm loving that package. I'm loving that group. So shout out to you guys. And if you haven't signed up for prize picks, sign up today. Use that promo code KJKDFS to receive an instant match on your first deposit up to $100 today. Wishing you all the best of luck on your props, and we will see you in the next one.